everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q3 of the weekly contest 309, longest nice sub away. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this farm, and also, I hope you like the intro, uh, that was a long hike uh, to the top, I'm in Turkey right now, in uh, Anatolia, and, and, um, and yeah, and let's go over today's nice problem, if you will, uh, okay, so this one, um, the first thing to notice is, is subway, it's contiguous. Uh, I almost misread, or I just missed this again, but I was thinking about how you would do it, and then honestly wasted maybe a minute, even though I didn't do it that slowly. Like, maybe not a minute, maybe like 20 seconds thinking about the sub-sequence problem. I've been way confused about it lately, I need to just look for it. But as soon as you see a subway, then you're able to know that, okay, you have some condition that that is that you want to hold true, so and as long as it's not true you um you make sure that it's true again so that's the invariant that we always talk about and when when yeah and then the idea here is that what is this thing asking about the bitwise n well the bitwise n for a different position in the sub array zero zero means that if you want to phrase another way meaning that for each digit it can only be used by one number right and and so this is the way that we uh, implemented this, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, let's take a look. So the way that I did it is by keeping track of a current, and basically we're saying, okay, if there's no overlap in, or if there's an overlap in digits, then we cannot add this number to the from the right yet. Um, yeah, then we can add it from the right yet. So then we 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 move number from the left to go out. This is sliding window stuff. Uh, let me write it uh, this is standard sliding windows and then we move it to the left and we also know that this termination will end because current once we remove all the numbers current will be zero right so then it will go to zero um, and then this will always be true or this will be false when when current is zero right so that's basically the idea um, and then after that we add the number right and then we and this is the number of uh, numbers inside the range. Um, this is a uh, half inclusive range or whatever. So yeah, in this case, so then this is the 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 um, the numbers that are within it, and then we would just return best. And that's pretty much it. This is linear time, linear space. Uh, is it even linear space? No, it's constant space. Whoops. Linear time, constant space. And the reason why this, uh, you may ask, you know, there's a while loop. Is it still linear? Um, it's because of, it's amortized because each number um, can only be increment once on the on on the left counter and once in the right counter of that part of the for loop. So that means that this will, in total, the entire operation of the 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 algorithm we're only one linear time, so linear plus linear, so this is linear time. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions that we don't, uh, don't hesitate to ask because I know people always ask me like, oh, or some, not always because that sounds bad, but sometimes once in a while people are like, oh, um, you didn't explain it well. I'm like, well, that's not actionable, you know? Uh, that's, you know, ask me what confuses you about it and then I can answer it. I'm not going to spend like, you know, half an hour trying to guess what you're confused about, you know? Anyway, uh, maybe minor went aside. I'll see you later. And you can watch me self live in the contest now. Okay, whatever. All right, um, Q3, longest, nicest away. Let's see. Okay. Still haven't waken up yet. Bitwise end of every parameter at different positions are equal to zero, of, of course, because you can. So basically, don't bitwise itself. Mm. Okay. 10 to the fifth. Uh, let's see. Oh, sub array. Okay. Okay, sub array. So. Uh, I'm, uh, because I feel like I've been mixing up subway and sub sequence too much lately as well. This should be just sliding windows, but uh, okay. Mm. How do I do this in a good way? 
Oh, it's pear rice. Should still be sliding windows, but let's see. We add an oh, it's just a number. It's just a bit, right? So okay. Um. Then let's see. Well, we can't add this number yet, or we can, but that's a little bit awkward. So, uh -huh. And we have to keep track of count, but that's fine. Uh, okay, hit this. This, and then right minus left plus one. Something like this, I think. Three, one. Okay, let's go. Hey, come on, please, no one man. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest and this problem set and all this other stuff. Uh, I'll see you soon. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.